Hi guys, this is Larissa with Be You Beautiful One. Welcome to my channel. I am currently hosting a Bible study titled, Wait, A Walk Through the Psalms, Psalm 31 through 60. This study is provided through the Daily Grace Company. I do have a link down below. Uh, if you use this link, particular link, it will support this channel in continuing to get resources to do the Bible studies as well as to do giveaways of the Bible studies that we will be doing on this channel. So please utilize this link every time you go to purchase something from the Daily Grace Company. They have a lot of different things that are faith-based related from study books to verse cards, jewelry, mugs, markers, highlighters, whatever have you. It's a it's a very good shop and it's all based on faith-based principles. So when you get ready to purchase, please utilize this link. Again, it will help um, contribute to the growth of the Bible studies on this channel. Again, the study is called Wait, A Walk Through the Psalms. I have done other studies based on the studies from this Daily Grace Company website. I've done Amen, Fruit of the Spirit, and then um, Delight, which covers Psalms 1 through 30. And I do have links of the playlist for each of those studies down below. So the purpose of this video is to go over the weeks coming up to provide to those who do not have a book, um, the study questions, as well as the signed reading and the signed scriptures for each day of the week. And so if you find this beneficial, please let me know. It will help me to know how to proceed for the next studies we have coming up. Please comment below and let me know if this was beneficial to do these kind of videos for you. And so now let's go ahead and jump into the week's lesson. Again, this is just to cover the reading assignments, the additional scripture references, and the study questions and statements. Okay, let's get started. Week six, day one, fear and faith. Fear and faith. Week six, day one. Psalm 56 is the assigned reading. In addition, we will reference Psalm 34 and 1 Samuel chapter 21. Mark Chapter 9, verse 24. Romans, chapter 8, verse 31 through 39. Question number one. Read First Samuel, chapter 21, verses 10 through 15. Sometimes we forget that the Bible characters were real people with real struggles and emotion. This psalm was written at a very low point in David's life. He is wrestling with fear and faith. How can these words comfort you when you face a difficult season? How can these words comfort you when you face a difficult season? Question number two. Sometimes in the face of very strong enemies, we forget that our God is so much stronger. What are some things that you can do to remind yourself of who God is in your life, in your daily life? List out some of the aspects of God's character below that remind you that God is stronger than your enemy. Question three, in what ways are you tempted to scheme or try to control your own life instead of trusting the Lord? 
list out some areas that you need to trust him in this week. Week six, day two, let your glory cover the earth. Assign reading is Psalm 57. Psalm 57. We also have Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Question number one. The word will is repeated several times in this psalm. Sometimes we see what God will do. Other times we see what David and we will or should do. Read this psalm again and look for those repeated words. What do those statements tell you about who God is and how should we respond to him? Question number two. Read the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6, verse 9 through 13. What similarities do you see between this psalm and the prayer? Question number three. How should these things change the way we pray? How should these things change the way we pray? Week six, day three. Week six, day three. There is none like him. Psalm 58. Psalm 58. And the sign reading um, in addition to Psalm 58 are Jeremiah chapter 6. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 6, Psalm 86, verse 8. Question 1, read Jeremiah 10, verse 6, and Psalm 86, verse 8. Write down some ways that there is none like God. How is God different than us? Write down some ways that there is none like God. How is God different than us? Question two. God is holy and righteous and must bring justice for evil. Romans 3, Romans 3 verses 10 through 8 reminds us of our fallen and sinful condition. How does this make us stand in awe of the grace that God has been extended to us in salvation. Read Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 10 to be reminded of what God has done for those that have placed their faith in Jesus for salvation. Question 3. At the end of a psalm that is difficult to read because of its heaviness comes a promise that God will reward the righteous. What does this psalm tell us about who God is? Week 6, day 4. Week 6, day 4. I will watch over you. I will watch over you. Assign reading, Psalm 59, as well as 1 Samuel chapter 19, verse 11 through 12. And Lamentations 
chapter 3, verse 22 through 23. Question number one, there is victory to be found in our God. Read in Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse four, about how our God fights for us. Then read how Jesus has overcome the world in John 16, verse 33. How do you, how do these verses encourage you about whatever you are facing in your life? Question two, look up the word watch, write out the definition here and explain what it means to watch for the Lord. Question three, we often do not like to wait, but waiting isn't sitting around doing nothing. Waiting is scripture is active. It is trusting God even when things don't happen in our timing. In this psalm, we see David praising God in his season of waiting. What can you praise God for today? What can you praise God for today? Week 6, day 5. Week 6, day 5. Restore us. Psalm 60 is our assigned reading. In addition, we have Psalm 19, verse 7, Psalm 19, verse 7, as well as Psalm 23, verse 3, Psalm 23, verse 3, Exodus 17, 15, Exodus chapter 17, 15, and Hebrews chapter 6. 18 through 19. And we have Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 20. Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 20. And Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 through 20. Question 1. Part of the prayer of this psalm is for God to restore us. This same Hebrew word is used in Psalm 19 verse 7 as revive and Psalm 23 verse 3. Look up this word in either a Hebrew lexicon or concordance or in an English dictionary. What do you think it means for God to restore us and how does he do it? In this psalm, we see that God is God over every nation, every person. How does this comfort us as we face the circumstances of our own life? Number three, as you think through the psalms, we have studied. What stands out to you the most? How can you trust God even in the seasons of waiting? What character traits of God have you seen as you studied these? Okay, guys, that is the week assign reading and questions and scripture references. I pray that doing this type of video is helpful for you. Um, again, if you ever decide that you want to purchase the studies that I have used or additional studies, um, please check out the Daily Grace Company. Again, I have a referral link down below. A small portion of your purchase will go to help this um, channel provide additional resources and tools and to continue on in the Bible study series.
thank you so much for joining us. And I look forward to seeing you uh, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for the following lessons um, for the rest of the weeks. Thank you so much. Bye.